<laughs> All right. <laughs> Good morning, Nub Nation. You guys obviously saw the title and the thumbnail to this video, so you're probably as excited as I am. Yeah, I was going through my house and I found a bunch of old hard drives and I kind of remembered that even before my vlog, before I was as positive as I am now, before I was as reasonable and focused and everything as I am now, I filmed. I filmed everything. I've been filming since I was eight years old. So uh, I dug up a couple hard drives and today we are going to react and watch a couple videos of me as a younger man. Right now I'm five years sober, but there was a point in my life when I drank every day. I barely surfed. And when I did surf, it was just ridiculous. And uh, there might actually be some surfing here that surprises us, but at the same time, there's gonna be some stuff in here that surprises us. So without further ado, Ben Gravy. I don't know how far back this, some of this stuff is gonna go. I have a feeling that we might even get back to, I don't know, maybe 2009, which is pretty crazy. So some of this might be a little bit embarrassing for me, but uh, you know, life is all about moving forward and, and trying to get better and uh, improve your life, improve yourself, and, and continue to progress. So, without further ado, woo! There's a folder titled Ben Gravy from November 4th, 2013. All right. And there's a folder inside that folder called Drinking. Here we go. All right. Wow. I have a literal <laughs> cigar in my mouth, and I'm filling a bowl with Rolling Rock. Okay, I'm standing over a massive bowl of beer. Getting stoked right now, for whatever reason. Wow, I'm young in this video. This is from 2009. Six brew chug. Six brew chug. Six beer chug, they're chanting. And I'm chugging beer out of a bowl. He's fast, he's fast. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna show any I'm not gonna show any of this, but I got about two thirds of the bowl down and uh, I started throwing up everywhere, so. All right, <laughs> moving on. Well, this is kind of sick. I found a clip of me surfing in the bay. A little backside 360? Yeah, this is from 2013, it says. Oh, I remember that, I actually, I think I broke my finger doing that. Look at these idiots, just sitting on hay bales. I literally look like I'm in pain, like the, the <laughs> The look on my face, pretty much 0% <laughs> enjoying that. I don't know why I would be doing that. All right, guys, this is in my absolute drunken heyday. Oh, my God. All right, guys, this is my heyday. This is my biggest. This is the biggest that I ever surfed. This is 220 pounds. If you can see me, look at that man walking down the beach. I was a house. God, I was a big boy. And I just remember this day just absolutely thinking I was ripped. Wow, little tube. Not bad. All right, so my surfing at this point in time was so snappy. I was trying to surf like a, like a, wow, these barrels are sick. So I was trying to surf like I was on the world tour, even though I was like on the world tour, of course, like, wow. That reverse was absolutely mind-bendingly chubby. Look at the bottom turn. Dude, I am, I'm actually mind blown right now. And I, I came into this not really not really knowing what to expect. Dude, I was kind of ripping. First of all, can't even get up in the air. Turning around, look at that freaking body. Dude, I was large and in charge. It's kind of interesting though. Like back then I didn't stretch. That was a tube and a half right there. Back then I didn't stretch. I didn't work out. I drank excessively and it wasn't affecting my surfing as much as it was affecting my style. So that was probably the heaviest clips of me ripping that I have on file. And I just remember living that, dude. I was just absolute, look at that guy run. There's something wrong with that, dude. 
All right, guys, this is El Slamo 2012. Check this out. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. We're loving this. Wow. Hacks, Hack City. Little did I know how good that that wave was actually going to end up, which is so crazy to think about. All right, we're going to dig deeper now. <laughs> dude, I can't do this, dude. I can't do this. I can't do this. All right, there's a clip of me in Las Vegas. There's a problem. It's it's a problem. Poolside. Anytime that I ever went to Las Vegas, I was ha at my lowest. I don't know if I can handle seeing any more. <laughs> I spared you because you're my friend. <laughs> Oh my, dude, and here I am. Here I am thinking that this video was gonna be funny. All right, thank the Lord that that is all the footage that I could find <sighs> from Vegas. All that I had to say about this clip right here, and I can't play a lot of it, but I can do a freeze frame because uh, the, they're playing music in the background. But dude, when you look at that footage, I literally look like a completely different person. Like, I look like I have no soul. This is just making me sit here and just be so grateful for the life that I live right now. I'm trying to get a little bit away from the complete depression. Oh, God, here we go. Right back into it. This is for country music! Keith Urban, you made a major proud. I can't believe who I am now. This is nuts, dude. Looking back at this is, is, this is nuts. I would say that this video is making me grateful. Even though like in a weird way, this footage that I'm getting to show you guys is actually really, really good content. It's really weird for me to watch. This behavior went on for years after these clips. I'm glad we came across that surf footage early on because without that surf footage, <laughs> this almost would have seemed hopeless. <laughs> Chewy. Totally normal for me. Okay, Dude, drink it. Do it. Just drink it. It's foamy. Dude, it's gonna be foamy. Terry. <laughs> Drinking beer out of a shoe. That is disgusting, dude. <laughs> After the way this guy acts, how would you ever do a shoe out of this build? The thing is, it's not that bad. It's probably only grains. <sighs> he, he bypassed it. Like, you know, a coffee, when you're drinking coffee, <sighs> like all the grains in the bottom. That? Those were the days when at least I wasn't hugely overweight. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm leaving that, dude. I don't care. Now, I gotta say, it wasn't all bad. Because check this out. This is pretty cool. Not We didn't only drink all day. We actually did other cool stuff. And I think I have a clip here. We were doing skate jumps over this gap. That's pretty cool, not bad. We had another YouTube channel called Nub TV. It's a pretty weird part of my life because we did do a lot of cool stuff and I was always productive trying to work on that channel, but doing the stuff that we did on that channel, stunts and stuff, was one of the main things that kept me in to drinking. So when I got sober, I had to take a, a big step away from all that. And um, you know, my life changed a lot. Okay, so. For the grand finale. <laughs> wow. I don't think I can top this, so I'm not even going to try. Okay, if you can watch this footage right here, my head is inside wood. They are building a fish tank around me. A literal fish tank. So this is my drinking plus Nub TV coinciding into one. There's a beer bong in my mouth, if you cannot tell. A beer bong in my mouth. They filled the fish tank up with water, and now they are literally pouring beer into the beer bong for me to drink underwater. You're good, that's all yeah, beer, that's take it down! Beer. That's all beer! Take it down! You're good, that's all yeah, beer, take it down! That's all beer, take it down! All right, I have to admit, that is kind of creative. For me, it was either continue to be creative and push the boundaries of drinking alcohol or change my life and get into something else because my life was only ever going one direction if I stayed down that path. My weight fluctuated like crazy. 
the energy in my body fluctuated like crazy. I was up and then I was down and then I was up and then I was down and I just lived a very different lifestyle than I live now. All right, we're back with the Jordan just got back to the house bonus round. I wanted to do it because um, I think it's funny. Also, I used to watch you. I used to watch your old Nub TV videos. This is for country music. That was your vibe? Your voice sounds so different. You kind of sound like Bam Margera. How do I look? You look hot. I do? Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to have a crush on you when you were that young. Ready? Here you look like a, what do you look like? I look at Turner. Ew, whose shoe was that? But like, is this why you became a germaphobe? Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Not hot here. Not hot at all. Ew, Ben, that beard? I want to see you drunk though. Where's the actual clips? Did I look like a different <clears> person, right? Yeah, your whole face, you're chubby. Ew! <laughs> and why do you have that necklace on? <laughs> you do that now, but like in anger. <laughs> Wait, do that again, I wanna see it. Look how old that is, the TV's big. <laughs> Honestly, it's the hole in the shirt for me. Ew! I don't know. Where's the drunk ones? I'm drunk in every single one of these. <laughs> see, blah, blah. I want to see like real waisty pants, Ben Gravy. That's all you got for me? That's all I had on there. Relax. How many celebrity shots you got there? One? RJ? Ray J? <laughs> so <laughs> crazy, you might. Ready? Yo, what up? It's Ray J. Shout out to Nub TV. I see you. Let's go. I hate him. <laughs> Was that like peak Kim Kardashian? <laughs> Oh, is this? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> I'm just recording. What? Hurricane Sandy. This is my outfit for Hurricane Sandy. This is Sandy. what you guys are doing. Why wouldn't they pick Mimi up? I don't know. Who picked her up? I guess she just stuck it out on the island. Mimi? <laughs> Ew. What hotel is this? The Buxton. <gasps> ben! I mean, I can't get full effect without you. Have you seen Robin Williams? Oh, no. Oh, man. Ew, why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> You're so chubby. Why are you so, what's wrong with your hand? It was broken. Oh, because I was like, I just thought you were that fat. <laughs> <laughs> why do you want to see footage of my ex-girlfriend? I find it so interesting. Because like you filmed so much. Like, <laughs> That was good. Part of this video, I wanted to make for entertainment purposes, but through watching this, I've actually learned a lot about myself and I'm so happy and so proud of myself for where I've actually gotten. It is an honor for me to be able to sit here and say I'm five years sober and be able to inspire people around the world who are struggling or who are already sober and just trying to push forward. So remember guys, if you are struggling and you ever need help and you're in a place like I used to be in, there is help. Talk to a friend, talk to someone in your family, or if you don't have people around you supporting you, you can just walk into a recovery center and, and I promise you that you can figure it out. That was an interesting video. I actually got a lot deeper and darker than I ever anticipated, but I hope that I know I learned something. I hope that at least, at the very least, if you're watching, you can see that people can change and people can get out of the rut that they're stuck in. In the moment, in that very moment that it's happening, it's fun, it's enjoyable, but at the end of the day, you're not living the life that you want if you're living like that. And I wasn't living the life that I want. So I am so grateful to be out of that. I am so happy, thankful. Just, I appreciate the Nub Nation so much. Thank you guys for supporting everything that I do. If you wanna see me dive deeper, because we kinda only just brushed the surface today, but I've been rolling for so long that I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we just brushed the surface today. So if you guys wanna see me go deeper into this, leave a comment down below, let me know. And if you guys are enjoying the videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, you can subscribe, it's the red button down there. You can also leave me a thumbs up. Please leave me a thumbs up. That's how the videos get in a better algorithm and they, they perform better. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's going on. And uh, let's talk about being sober and uh, life-changing moments and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for another epic video. And I'll see you tomorrow for the dream.